everybody, it's Amanda, and I'm coming to you with another 30 inks in 30 days. We are on to day 21, and yeah, I'm very excited about that. So, we're going to mix up our ink, and then I'll pick one, and we'll see where we go from there. Alright, I am going to pick... Which one do I want? I want this one. I feel like I almost grabbed one and then this might not have been the one that I almost grabbed. So I don't know what we have. We'll see what we have in a second. Chat a little bit about this particular ink. Oh, oh, where's my splatter? Where's my little splat? Um, woo woo. So we have our splat. Um, this one does have a, the barest, tiniest, small amount of sheen where the ink is like super, super saturated. I don't think this ink, like I didn't really notice sheen or anything in like regular writing. So yeah, like I don't think this is necessarily like a sheening ink. It just has, there's just, and it's not even like super shiny. It's just, I would say maybe like haloing. I don't know. There's just a ton of ink on that, on that, on those sections. So um, awesome. So cool. So let's see what we have here. Okay. We have, ooh, Lennon Toolbar uh, Dongji. Yay. Okay. This is exciting. I've been, I've been excited about this one. I mean, I'm excited about all of them. Oh, what pen do I want to put this in? So these are the pens that I had sitting here. I had um, this one that I put a broad nib on and then I have my um, Sailor Pro Gear Slim Mini. I think I'm gonna force a match on this one though. But I don't know if I like the idea of this one with teal ink in it. Let me see what I have sitting over here. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do this. This is a uh, Franklin Kristoff Model 45. I have a medium, I think it's a medium stub on this pen. And I'm gonna go ahead and eyedropper it. Now I should, I know that I should silicone grease around the threads, but I don't have any sitting here, so we're not gonna do that. I'm just going to live life on the edge and see what happens. Because I'm doing that though, I'm not gonna fill it like all the way. I don't know. I don't actually know what the best way is to do this. Um, okay, so we're just going to, I'm just gonna fill it up. We're just gonna do that. A pretty generous sample, so I think I can go ahead and get away with that. Um, this is the first time I've eyedroppered this pen. I usually use a, a cartridge in it, even though that's kind of, you know, it's not cute. I'm gonna go ahead and dip the nib to see if I can facilitate some of that capillary action. And I'm going to close this and let it do its thing. I hope it doesn't leak into the cap. We're gonna let it sit off to the side. It looks really pretty, the ink in the in this barrel though. Pretty. I am getting some like stuff around the threads here, so we'll see. I'm just gonna let that do its thing. I've been really excited about this ink since I like got it. Oh shoot. Okay. Yes, I feel like I need more ink on that though. The perennial problem. More splats, right? More splats, especially these pale splats. Especially in this syringe that's so good at doing splats. Okay. Sweet, we'll set that off to the side. It's hot as hell in here, so we'll see how that goes. Okay. So here's what we've got going on. Let's see if I can get the pen to write. This will post, but it's not like, I don't know, it's not the greatest. Um, ew, was there, oh, was there ink? I think there was ink in this pen. That's bizarre, because I know that I have like cleaned this out. Okay, well that's gonna be fun. Come 
because I don't even use it. The last time I used it, I must have... Ugh. That's annoying. Okay, well, I'm not going to sit here and worry about that. So we're actually going to just, we're just going to fill, we're just going to fill my Sailor Mini Pro Gear Slim. No, never mind. I really want a different ink in that one, and I'm going to hold off on that. We're going to fill this one. It doesn't match, it doesn't go, but I don't care. Try again. 30 inks. 30 days. Day 21 June. This ink is so pretty. It's like a grayer version of, um, where's Pixie Parasols? It's kind of like a dirtier version of that. I can't really see that, but that's okay. All right, ink. Toolbar. Donji. I don't know if this is exclusive. I know that, um, oh, this is from Pen Friend Wen. I don't think I said this. Another one from uh, Wen. Wen is now banned. I've had three of hers. No, I'm kidding. Um, but it is a, um, a lovely ink. And I know that she gets inks um, when she travels overseas. So I'm not sure if this is like an exclusive color or if it translates to something that we might, this is like super zoomed in. Sorry about that. Um, or if it translates to something else, I'm not sure. I didn't do that much research. Um, I didn't do any research. I don't know why I'm acting like I've done any, um, cause I didn't. This is a Lamy Studio Olive Green with a broad nib that I switched out. The, the pen actually came with a fine or extra fine, I don't remember. And I um, used a broad replacement nib because I love broad nibs. Um, yes. Is another beautiful sample from Darling Pen friend when thank you i love it's one of those that like goes down it writes pretty light but as it dries it darkens up a little bit and i love that like this is already so much darker than it was when we started writing um Some beautiful shading, gorgeous, gorgeous shading out of this ink. I love it. I love it so much. It's like muted, but legible. That's really the thing that I, I like most. I don't mind if it's muted. I've discovered, like I would have, like a year ago, I would have 
well, maybe not a year, like a year and a half ago, I probably would have like just written it off completely, been like, ugh. I mean, obviously I wouldn't have because somebody sent it to me, but um, I've become amenable to um, lighter inks, courtesy, courtesy? courtesy of our uh, dear creepy nibs um because half the samples they sent me were like muted they were either purple or they were like pastel inks <laughs> and they're lovely so i'm seeing a little bit of like blue and because this is kind of a green leaning teal i can see a little bit well it doesn't really look yellow it looks green like kind of like a limey sort of green um i just spelled studio wrong why did nobody tell me that okay um, I'm just writing too fast. I have a feeling my time is limited. Um, but we're going to go ahead and uh, do this. Do this now. I should have um, adjusted my... Not adjusted my camera back. Okay, so we have 30 inks. 30 days. This is day 21, June 21. Getting a haircut today, I'm very excited. Well, I'm supposed to be getting a haircut today. Um, we'll see. Ink is linen. G. It's really hard to write G and then J and then I next to it. I don't know why, but it's throwing me off. <laughs> the pen is a Lamy Studio with a broad nib. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. We still get some really nice shading on this paper too. And I'm gonna do some of this back of nib action. I really like this color. I really like it a whole lot. Oh, you didn't see any of that. I'm so sorry. I'm like hot and trying to like get this done in a reasonable amount of time. So we do have some splats here. Even on the splats though, you can see it looks a little more like yellow or cream and then the blue, it separates a little more so you can see a little bit of the depth there, but nice. I can't wait till these splats dry so you can see what those are gonna look like. All in all, super excited to see. I don't, I don't like it in this pen. So I might, I might, I don't know, I might clean that section out and we'll see, day 21. Bar Dongji. Ah, thank you again, Wen, for uh, sending this uh, beautiful ink and for just being a sweet, kind soul. I um, I'm very happy to know you and. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will uh, talk to you all again tomorrow. I have been working on some videos. I know that I'd asked about putting like extra videos up, but we're so close to the end of the month that I think I'm just going to save some of them and they might be out of date. I don't know. I'm just going to save some of them for um, like, you know, the beginning of July and stuff like that because yeah, I just have so many ideas that I want to film and take care of, but I need like... I need the time to do it and this is this past week or two has not been the time so anyway yes there's a lot loads of stuff coming there's loads of stuff coming I'm very excited um we've got some new ink days um I started filming some of the sailor videos again I can't remember if I've mentioned that in a previous video or not I think I have like two more sets of ink to go so there's like five or six of those videos coming and then we're finishing up with that so i'm very excited it's gonna be super fun i'm very excited <laughs> um yeah so anyway that's not what this video is about i need to go turn the air conditioner on because it is roasting in here anyway thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed this video um i hope that you like this color of ink i have no idea where to find it i haven't done any research about it if i find a place 
um, that it's easily accessible. I will link it in the description box. I know that um, Shigori Inc. sells some linen toolbar, and I know that Yoseka Stationery sells some linen toolbar, so you may be able to get it there. Again, I don't know. I know that when um, sometimes buys ink well, when she travels, that's um, what she told me, so they may be um, exclusives from out of the area, but if you're overseas, you may be able to find it locally. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, Just ask the Google or your favorite search engine. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you again tomorrow. Take care. Love you. Bye.